What's crack -a and home slices? Today I'm going to be going over every new feature coming to the multiverses relaunch in 2024. Let's not waste any more time and without further ado, let's go. One huge change coming to multiverses in 2024 is the game switch to Unreal Engine 5. In the road to launch developer update video, a comparison between beta and pre-launch renderings of Wonder Woman were used to demonstrate the upgrades graphically and boy are they noticeable. You can see a lot more detail and the lighting has improved drastically. Speaking of improvements, another thing that has gotten better is the net code for the game. I cannot stress you enough how important netcode is for a game. If the netcode provides consistent world class online play as the GOAT Tony says, then not only will you and I have a smooth gameplay experience, but so will everyone else in the world so we can all enjoy multiverses together. Towards the beginning of the video, Tony Wynn, the lead game director for multiverses, also said that a lot more content is coming to the game. That content includes new stages, characters, and character changes which is crazy to think about. Tony also gave us concept arts for two of these stages, one of them is for the Powerpuff of girls and the other is themed after Dexter's laboratory. If these two came to multiverses, comment down below who you'd main. Going back to character changes, a lot of characters not only have gotten attacks polished, but have also received brand new ones. In the video, you can see characters like Harley Quinn, Morty, and Taz show off their brand new moves. I feel like out of all of them, Hardy's looks the most devastating, but we shall see. Last but certainly not least, the final feature coming to multiverses as of right now is a PvE mode. Tony stated that it will offer additional ways of playing with unique rewards, and all I gotta say is, oh my god, this is really happening. One reason why I think multiverses fell off in popularity is because there was no single player content. At the end of the day, without casuals, there is no game, at least that's what I think. Anyways, that's all I got for you today. If you haven't already, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and comment down below what you are looking forward to most when multiverses drops which will be on may 28th that's all i got for you today peace